In this video we learn how to read data from a text file. We will read interarrival and inspection times from two separate files. Simulation will run using the numbers read from these input files. First, save the file with a new name. The text file contains the inspection times for 100 parts. Each file used as input or output must be defined in the instruction files. You find it in the library elements. Open it, and insert the number, the name of the file used in the arena model, and the system name of the file. We set the file for reading the inspection times used in the simulation. The file is a text file, so we select a free format as the option for the field structure. The access type is sequential, this means that numbers are read data after data. We create space to read the inspection times just before the delay block. Each inspection time is assigned as value to an attribute, named read service time. Create this new attribute in the elements attributes. The read instruction is used to read data from a file. You find it in the blocks library. Position the read block after the seize and before the delay. Select the file containing the inspection times. In the field variables, we write the name of attributes or variables. In this case, we insert the new attribute just created. This means that the number taken from the file is stored into the attribute. This will be used later in the delay block. Open the delay block. And replace the duration with the attribute name containing the value for the inspection time. We are reading only 100 inspection times. Thus, let's limit the entities we create to this number. This is done by simply inserting 100 in the field maximum number of batches. It is recommended to check if the inspection times are properly assigned to the entities. Easy to see the first inspection time is at the first position in the text file. A second file is defined to read interarrival times. We create a little bit of space to place the instructions for reading the interarrival times. A new counter is defined, number of parts entering the system. System. Open the create block. The maximum number of batches is changed to 1. Only one entity will be created by the block create. This entity will be delayed by a time duration equal to the part interarrival time. Then, we will use a branch instruction to duplicate the create identity. One entity will continue representing the part to be inspected, the second entity will cycle again to mimic the arrival of the next part. We put into the model a read, a delay and a branch block. In the read block, we specify the file containing the interarrival times. 
The number collected from the file is stored into the new attribute next underscore interarrival. This attributes is defined in the element attributes. Select the file containing the interarrival times. The data read from the file will be stored into the new defined attribute, named next underscore interarrival. Connect the delay block. Open it, and assign the attribute as the duration of the delay time. I'm Add a count block to count the number of entities arrived into the system. Position the count block after the delay. Delay Connect the branch with the count block. Open the branch block, and add the first condition. The first condition is an if. Until the number of arrived entities is smaller than 100, entities take this first branch. The second condition is a simple else. Very important, we change the maximum number of branches from 1 to 2. This means that one entity enters into the branch and two entities can exit if both conditions are satisfied. The first condition is connected to the read block. This represents a self-scheduling event, an arrival that schedules the next arrival. The second condition represents the part flow. We connect it with the queue block. Block. In this actual model, parts enter the system when entities enter the queue block. Therefore, we must change the place where we save the entry time, free time. Check the model. And run an experiment.